Hey everyone, and welcome to another Jamobi tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about reliability analysis. Now, I'm only really going to focus on Cronbach's alpha in this one, so uh, the other statistics can be explored on your own. As always, I am using the latest build as I am recording this. So uh, Mac OS has a new version with just general bug fixes and improvements of 1.6.7. Okay, so let's open up some data and uh, look into uh, reliability analysis. So we're going to open the learning statistics with Jamovi data. They go hand in hand. And down here at the bottom is this personality questionnaire. So we are going to open that up. And here you can see we have some IDs and we have uh, uh, the ocean set. So we have... A big five, we have A, agreeableness, C, conscientiousness, E, extroversion, N, neuroticism, and O, openness. And then we have gender and age as part of our variables. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, look at the reliability of the responses on this scale by these, you know, uh, 250 people, okay? And that is generally speaking what reliab reliability is for. It measures equivalence. That's what Cronbach's alpha does, right? So what we're going to do, well, what Jamovi does is um, do a split half reliability. It takes one half of the responses and it takes the other half of the responses uh, or scale items, I should say, um, and see whether or not the people in these scales are answering in similar fashions. It does not mean that the items in the scale itself are the same scale. You would have to do a factor analysis for that. So Cronbach's alpha is just saying whether or not people are answering the items in a way that is reliable for themselves. And then we're going to do that for one person and then across all the people at the same time. So now how we do that in Jamovi is really important. We go up to factor. It's kind of hiding here. But, you know, once you click on it, you'll see scale analysis and reliability analysis and then all of the other factor analyses that you can do uh, in factor, including principal, exploratory, and confirmatory factor analyses. So what we're going to do in this, uh, in this tutorial is we're going to use the agreeableness scale. So I'm going to choose, I selected A1 and I then uh, held shift and selected A5 and we're going to bring them over to the items. Okay, but before I look at this one, there's an issue that we need to deal with um, under here, reverse scaled items. Now, this is a really cool module. It doesn't actually reverse code A1, A2, or A3, or A4, depending on which ones we put in. It doesn't actually do that, so you'd have to reverse scale it your own, on your own to do sums or averages or things like that within within your data set. But at least you don't have to do that right away in case there's a problem. And that's what we're going to do with trying to figure out if um, we have good scale reliability with Cronbach's alpha. And so in this particular scale, item one on the agreeableness scale is actually reverse coded. Now you can see that when I have my items in here and Cronbach's alpha uh, checked here, we get an actual Cronbach's alpha that makes sense uh, for, you know, the big five uh, inventory, right, which is something around 0.7 or higher. And this is a decent uh, reliability statistic. I mean, it could be better, but, you know, it's acceptable. Anything lower is not good, and so that's why when you see A1 over here, when, you, when we put A1... A1 back, you can see that this is 0.46, um, and, and it's telling you that this is um, really important that A1 correlates negatively with the rest of the scale. So that's telling you, oh, I need to make it, uh, I need to make it, 
a reverse scaled item here. We can get additional statistics. We can get the mean and the standard deviation uh, for this statistic. Uh, so uh, these five items, the average is 4.65, and uh, among the 250 people, we have a standard deviation of about 0 0.90. And we can get a correlation heat map. This uh, shows how uh, uh, correlated each of these items are with each of the other ones on the bottom half of the negative diagonal here. Um, so you can see that how how much they are, and red represents negative correlations, and green represents positive correlations. Now look what happens when I put A1 back. A1 is correlated poorly, or negatively, with a the rest of them. And so that's how you know you need to put it back in there. And so when it reverse scales the items behind the scenes, which I think is amazing. You know, you don't really have to deal with it if you don't want to. And of course, in Jamovi, you can get the R code underneath if you really want to, to see what exactly what this part of the module is doing. But once we reverse scale it, uh, you can see that it is now green. And green means go in most cases. Um, you can get uh, item statistics. If you drop an item, you can get what happens to Chromebox Alpha if you drop an item. Um, and you can do that the same with McDonald's Omega over here. And then you can get uh, means uh, for each of the items. And if it's reverse scaled, it will put it in the same scale as the other five which i think is awesome you can also get item standard deviations and then the item rest correlation and that is how you do a simple reliability analysis in jamovi if you like this content please leave a like and hit that subscribe button please leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below thanks for watching bye